looking into the app the FBI says kids should stay away from. Jason. Anita, most of the apps are just simple ways to communicate with one another, but the FBI says it comes down to how they're used. And when you can remain anonymous, there's always a chance someone could take advantage. Well, I take pictures on Snapchat because it makes me look better. Like most teenagers. So because they have filters that make you look cute. 16 year old Hannah Singer is glued to the phone. Twitter, Twitter. you just tweet random things. I'm mostly on it like when I get home from school. Using apps most adults have never even heard of. We have your stories where everyone can post things. Hannah uses her apps to keep up with her friends, but she's very aware there are dangers lurking below her fingers. I think it's dangerous, but most like high school people just think it's fun. They just want to talk to people and they're bored, and so they just talk to random people, but I think it's weird. When computers first came out, parents told us to stay away from chat rooms. Now those chat rooms are in the palm of a hand, and apps could lead them right to strangers. It sounds like they're, they're dangerous. They are dangerous. Undercover FBI agents sat down with 10 on your side to talk about a growing trend. Every week they're seeing more and more cases of teens who end up victims because they end up talking with predators. It's very frustrating, um, especially when you, you try to tell the, the kids out there that there are these dangers, but they always think that they're smarter. Two recent Virginia cases stand out. In January, police arrested two Virginia Tech students charged with killing 13-year-old Nicole Level. Officers say the suspects met the teen through the popular messaging app Kick. Just a couple weeks later, Williamsburg police say this man, Eric Martinez, raped a 12-year-old girl he met on the same app. All you have to do is enter a profile name, which could be anything, and it links you up with random strangers across the world. The FBI says Kick is the most dangerous app out there, followed closely by two others, Omegle and Snapchat. All three have some differences, but generally they allow strangers to set up phony profiles. You don't have to have a birthday, you don't have to um, input your email address, phone number, not even your true name. A scary thought, even scarier because new apps are coming and going. You can't even keep up, and being a high school teacher, I see a lot of the technology and I know that I still couldn't keep up. Hannah's mom took it upon herself to drill in a simple message. Yeah, because I was taught at a young age, like, don't talk to strangers. Kelly took that same philosophy with the popularity of cell phones. We chose the route of trying to educate the kids more about it and what some of the dangers of social media and these places where you can be anonymous and talk to each other. The FBI says it's up to parents to monitor what kids are doing. They say to spot check what's on the phone and make sure you have all the usernames and passwords. Kids, they want to, they want privacy. Um, they think their, their identity won't be exposed and they can say whatever they want and talk with whoever they want and it won't come back, yeah, but it always does. A text message right now it's from the boy. And for parents, things aren't going to get any easier. Like who's on the phone? No, it's very hard to be a parent right now. It is very, I mean, the world is constantly changing. Now, 10 on your side reached out to Kick, Snapchat, and Omegle, and we heard back from Kick. They tell us Kick does not tolerate any illegal activity. That's part of an ongoing effort to deter bad behavior. We cooperate with law enforcement requests when appropriate and provide tools for users to report unwanted contact or content. We also shut down accounts of users when misuse comes to our attention. Kick also provided a help guide for parents. You can find that link on wavy.com along with a link for software parents can download, which tracks everything your kid does on his or her cell phone. Jace Marks, 10 on your side.